hundreds of Israeli troops rescued four hostages from Hamas in Gaza on Saturday. The operation took weeks to plan and resulted in the death of one officer, Arnon Zamora, a commander in the elite Imam unit who fell while leading the operation. The hostages, Noah Argamani, 26, Almog Meirjan, 22, Andre Koslev, 27, and Shlomi Z, 41, were held in two houses in Al Nusarat, a residential neighborhood in central Gaza. They were kidnapped from the Nova Music Festival in southern Israel on October 7th last year. Hamas hid the hostages among Gaza civilians guarded by terrorists. The four were freed under heavy fire and are now in good health. After the rescue, they reunited with their families following evaluation at Sheba Medical Center. Noah Argamani visited her mother, who has been hospitalized with advanced brain cancer at Tel Aviv Sarosky Medical Center. An earlier video showed Argamani reuniting with her father, smiling and embracing him. Argamani became one of the faces of the hostage crisis when footage of her abduction by two men on a motorbike emerged online. In the footage, a distraught Argamani shouts, don't kill me. Argamani was kidnapped with her boyfriend from the festival. He remains captive. After their rescue, Prime Minister Netanyahu emphasized the country's commitment to freeing all hostages, and he accused Hamas of war crimes. He vowed to continue efforts to bring everyone home. There are an estimated 116 hostages remaining in Gaza. After Israeli forces rescued the hostages, Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh declared that Hamas would not surrender. He stated via a post on Hamas's official Telegram channel, Our people will not surrender and the resistance will continue to defend our rights against this criminal enemy. If the occupation thinks it can oppose its will by force, it is mistaken. Haniyeh accused Israel of massacring Palestinians in Gaza. The Hamas-run health ministry reported at least 93 Palestinian bodies, including terrorists and civilians, were taken to the local hospital. However, the numbers published by the ministry have come under scrutiny, particularly in recent days, for their apparent inflating of the proportion of women and children killed during the war. Moreover, the Al-Qasim Brigade's Hamas's armed wing claimed that some hostages were killed during Israel's rescue operation. The spokesperson said that the operation will now pose a great danger to the enemy hostages and will negatively impact their conditions and lives. The location of the hostages that were rescued proves once again that Hamas hides hostages in refugee camps and civilian areas, using people as human shields. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has added Israel's military to a list of offenders for child violations, a move Israel's UN envoy Gilad Erdan called, quote unquote, shameful. Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad are also included, a diplomatic source told Reuters. Erdan received official notification of the listing on Friday. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.